Hello and welcome. Yes, this is Division East qualification. It's the second semi-final and we have the host Cape Town Tigers taking on Ferroviario de Beira out of Mozambique. And there's very little to choose between these two teams as far as stats are concerned, as far as the paper outlook is concerned, as far as the last time they played, it came down to the final position. And uh, we're expecting something similar here. It might be a little bit of a grudge match as far as De Beira, Ferroviario De Beira are concerned. To help me unpack this, my co-commentator, the awesome Ms. Nompumalelo Ramatsoka and Pumi. I, I said it, but maybe you want to delve a little bit deeper into it. <laughs> oh man, Q, it's going to be an absolute scorcher. We can expect an absolute scorcher. Like you're saying, very little separates these teams. The only thing that stands out is that the Cape Town Tigers are averaging 43 rebounds a game against the Bears 33. So that's going to be a huge point of contention today, is looking at the rebounding numbers. Well, when we look at the, the roles that players are going to play, the Cape Town Tigers always start out big. They go with the, they try to trust the lineup of Billy Preston Jr., Ganapamo, Chris Gabriel, uh, the, the addition of Micah Bongo, and of course you'll get Peter Prinsloo. Now, with Peter Prinsloo and uh, Preston go well, usually the team does pretty well themselves. On the other end, you have the, that balance, and you've got to have... Kennedy, who scores his 18 points a game, and Will Perry, who's going to run the point guard. But I think their real key player is Helton Ubis. You know, he gets those 12 points, 10 boards, but he's very underrated. Numa Mario chips in with those 16 as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you said the Cape Town Tigers rely on those three guys there. Captain Peter Princely, when he gets going, they get going. It's going to be important how Kabungo facilitates tonight. He did a great job last night of finding the tempo for this Cape Town Tigers team and really setting the tone in the absence of Ben Uzo, who the last time really led in this game with his 10 points and nine assists against the Bayer. Well, visually, since my man Mike Kabongo has been in the game, with, or in the series, we've seen an improvement from the Cape Town Tigers, but it doesn't matter. Just like in the first semifinal, the winner will progress, the loser will have to fight it out for the third and final spot. And here we go, Ubis. In for the first two. Nice start there for Ferroviario. They Just must be feeling confident after having lost no games in this round. Mr. Junior to Gabriel. And it looks like the first foul going to go. And the player coming across. And yes, Gabriel will go to the, the free throw line. That is Uwana will pick up one, and it's the first one on for Viario de Beira, as I said. Chris Gabriel didn't have a good time of it uh, in the win over Matero Magic. He was frustrated by foul situations, and given all of that, he still provides about a nine-point production on the offensive end, and, and I think they want him to stay on the floor a little bit longer. It's going to be very important for Gabriel to stay on the floor. You know, last night he played less than 13 minutes in the contest. Yeah, that's not what you want from a starter. He has been averaging about 14 minutes a game, so, you know, in and around his average, but they want more from him, for sure. Kennedy, Perry, Nemamade, Nemamade. Kabongo tied on him, now it's Perry. Gabriel switches out, the pass in. Kabongo gets a timely touch. A fantastic defensive effort there from Kabongo starting out in the guard and being able to pick up that deflection as you see him there getting that deflection going to the room. Yeah, quick hands and the Dikembe Mutombo not, not in this house but it's still early, early going. The barrel with one second left on the shot clock. Won't get it up in time. You've got to credit the high energy and intensity of Kobungo on that possession. The last time out, Ben Uzo was the point guard for the Cape Town Tigers. It's a completely different look, and I think there have been some additions on the Ribera side. Press coming, high press. You see him there directing traffic on that press. Kabongo, shoulders in. Gabriel is there, and the, the rebound attempt, well, rather the shot attempt, the rebound spills out. Back to Prinsloo. Shot clock winding down. Offensive foul. Mamare goes to ground. Prinsu picks up his first. 
there, you see it in the replay. It might have gone against Gabriel there. Q. As we wait for confirmation on who that went against. I think you might be right. And just my initial feel is that Gabriel did pick up that foul. And it does indeed confirmation that it goes against Chris Gabriel. You don't want to see that after last night's performance. Rebound back out to Perry. Doesn't make it. Kabongo loses again. Back into that man, Kennedy. Kennedy leads his team in efficiency. Scores at about 70% on the interior, 60% on the outside, and he scores 18 a game. If the Tigers are going to be successful, they've got to do a better job than last night of taking care of the basketball. Travel call. And there already, Q, last night they had 28 turnovers. As you see Peter Princely there, turn it over. For one, still early going. Perry drives in. Nimamade, try the three ball. Rebound picked up by Prinslu. Now Preston, Preston turns in. He'll hang and hit. Man, oh man, does Preston have a handle for a seven footer. It makes it look so easy, almost like practice. First two for Billy Preston. Point game. One up. Ubis is looking for it, and I, th I thought it came off a Cape Town Tigers player, but referee saw it differently, and so it goes. Back to the Tigers. You can tell how badly both these teams want to secure their spot in the BAL tonight. They don't want to be playing for their lives tomorrow. Gabriel, left hand hook. No good. Manima Mari comes away with the basketball. Nimamade. Juana. Now is Kennedy. Nails the three. Too much time and space for a man who's shooting 60% from three point range. And that's on about three attempts a game. Doesn't put up a lot, but he nails them when he does. Preston. Double team. Prinslo. Ganapamo. Takes the shot. And Kabongo to the outside. Numamade, Perry, pass in, and that is, or should have been the conversion, one I missed from point blank range. The Cape Town Tigers are lucky to have that one not go. They looked a little sluggish on defense. Gabriel shorts a left hand hook again. Slower start for the Tigers, 7-3 now. Kabongo gets a touch on, but it stays with Debera. Ubis, the Mamadi fakes, free throw line, jumper is clean. Something is amiss with this Cape Town Tigers defense right now. They're going to have to make adjustments. 9-3. Kabongo. Evans Ganabamo. Preston loses it. You know, that pass just took too long to get to Preston. He had Perry on his back and should have gotten it sooner. Numamade in. Ubis going to work against Gabriel. Fades away and gets the touch. Nice move. Draws the contact but goes away from it to get the two on the hook shot. Kabongo. Prinslow. He'll try a three. It's long. Ganapamo on the rebound. Nails the two. You know, that's the second time Perry's gotten caught on the base, on the block there by a big man. He got caught by Gabriel on that one. It's going to be something that Tigers will look to exploit. No business wide open. And, and it's surprising that they just aren't doing a great job of exploiting those mismatches right now. Perry's pass again, penetrating. And then Ganapamo battling for the rebound, but there was contact on that. And 
Kiss Gabriel there goes to the bench queue, making way for Samusam Tembu, who played an important role last night when Gabriel was in foul trouble. Ganapamo picks up his first, second team foul to the Tigers. Nemamade fading away, milks that one smooth over the outstretched hand of Ntembu. Preston puts it on the floor. Trapped in the baseline, he throws away. Princeton keeps alive. Garapamo had so many options to opted to throw it away and Nemamade draws the contact. The Tigers have got to take better care of the ball. They are just turning it over way too much. And this is Perry again making the pass ahead. Nemamade faked, waited for Prince Rudolf Sky and then gets called for just the push in the back. Third team foul, first one on Prince Rudolf. Ishmael Nemamade is underrated. He's, he's, he's been consistent throughout this, this tournament and before that, averaging 16 a game. He's one of those men that just go quietly about their business. About 40% from the three-point line and 80% from this free throw line. He gets there about twice a game. Well, he makes both. And it's the timeout called here as the Tigers up against a 10-point deficit with 4-12 left to play in the first. Call the first timeout. out of the timeout and just like we saw in the previous games Fede Vieira and Ribeiro are very comfortable grinding out the games just out executing their opponents but now Kabongo up to Preston oh. Billy Preston Jr. throws it down Mr. Fantastics in the house and that should get some momentum going Tigers his way out of the timeout Perry right hand layup Spins out. Kabongo. Prinsler fakes and drives. Left hand layup. Won't go. Prinsler a little upset there at not getting the foul call. Ubis into Mtembu. And I think they call the, the block. I think. Uh, they do call the block indeed on Tempu. It looked like he initiated the contact from the defensive end. Fourth team foul now for the Tigers. And Hauna heads to the bench for the Bayer Q, and he makes way from ground Bay. Mugambe. Great job by Samusam Tembu there to help out. Peter Prince looked a little caught. Well, he does provide the shot blocking in the paint. Just off the bench, Samusam Tembu. Now more changes as Farrao. The toss from Kabongo to Billy Preston Jr. And 
Those two did it last night, and they find a way to do it again here. Kabongo really has a knack for finding Preston Jr. going to the rim. Preston Jr. stolen. Kennedy, quick hands. Nimamade in transition. Two more. Looked a little too casual there from Preston Jr. and just wasn't aware of the defender behind him. Ganapamo out to Tulu. Tulu drives. Nice pass to Mkembu. Beautiful find there by Letono Lotolo. All of that coming from the playmaking of Letono Lotolo. 79. Perry. Mbwambe. Passes to Numamade. Nice feed. Tolo Pretty. just missing the back door cut there and being a second late. They thread that needle for the pretty two-point finish. Now Tulu draws some contact from Numamare. The Tigers just seem to have settled down a little bit on offense coming out of that timeout. First break for Ishmael Numamare. In comes Orlando Novella, or oh, Emelindo Novella, rather his brother. Tulu to inbound. Ganapamo. Back to Tulu. Fakes. Goes to the layup and scores. Fantastic work. Beautiful up and under from the tunnel of Tulu. Making his impact felt off the bench. Kennedy shoots and hits. Man, we said it. You cannot leave Kennedy open on that three point line. He doesn't. Take too many of those, but he does take them at a high percentage. Some tempo, and that was a like bit. There was some contact there. Didn't look like some contact, but a beautiful feed from Preston Jr. Tempo, quick four. Much better job from the Tigers of finding each other. Preston Jr. Some defense now. Tulu, pull up jumper, nails one. The refs allowing the players to get away with a quite a bit of contact tonight. Well, some free-flowing offense here on the substitutions by the Tigers. Ubis to work against the Tembu. Over the shot blocker's hand. Nice touch. Such a presence in the paint is Elton Ubis. Farrell on the screen. Tulu. Pulls back to Preston Jr. Tipped away again by Kennedy. They have numbers. Left hand from Kennedy, and he makes it look easy, drawing the contact. So, if I'm the coach from the Tigers, you, as you see the Tulu committing that foul, I really want him to foul a little bit earlier and make sure that it's not an and one play. More changes. Just as the quarter is about to close out, Preston Jr. are going to pump more off. It's Gabriel. And Lebohang Mufo King in. Jamal Kennedy has done some amazing, amazing work. And again, hits near perfect from the free throw line, near perfect from the field. King looked like he was in trouble there, but managed to get the pass out to Tulu. And you see him there in the double team, and Tulu draws the foul. Twelve point game. Final 30 seconds of the first quarter. Tulu. Ufo King in. Looking for Gabriel. There's a touch on it there. He made that pass just a little bit late. Gabriel had sealed his man already and had space in front of him. Well, the high points man for Ferroviario de Berra from the last outing. Zandamela in as Obish get a breather. Farrell. 
looking for Gabriel. Gabriel travels. That is Tigers' eighth turnover in this quarter. And Q, they're not going to be able to get it done if they turn the ball over at that rate. Not at all. There's too many of those. The Barra will definitely hold for the final shot. Kennedy around the screen front. Zandamela. Novella is open. Gabriel cleans as Novella misses the shot, but it is a very efficient quarter as far as Ferroviario de Beira were concerned. They scored 27, and in reply, it's Cape Town Tigers 15. And uh, that is the end of a fascinating first quarter. Well, the second quarter about to get underway, and it was a very impressive first one. 11 of 20, the Ferriario de Bero on the inside to go along with the 27 points. 10 from Numamade, 11 from Kennedy. And as far as the Cape Town Tigers are concerned, just four apiece for Preston, Tembu, and Tulu. So out of this quarter break, Tulu to start. Prince back in. Thorau makes the feed to Mtembu. Has to go away from the defense. The extra pass. Over King drives and falls to the ground and gets called for the travel. Man, it looked like there were a few travels there. Miguel Thorau looked like he walked with it as well. Um, and the Cape Town Tigers just not able to use that possession properly. Now, it's Ferviario. Mugwambe. The drive in by Wana. Right there, blocked is Zandamela. Blocked again. And a good defensive possession as shot clock violation is called on and it, Ferviario. And it started with a great help block from Miguel Corral after Mtembu just got beat coming through the baseline. Tulu. It's Mofo King. Tulu is open. He'll try the three and connects. Letono Latulu is having himself a game tonight. He is locked in. That's the seventh point from Tulu. Nine point game. Offensive foul. I think it's Zandamela called on that one. First one of the quarter.
I think it was a travel call. It did look like that indeed. Tulu. Thoreau will turn, fire, he tries to go glass. No good. Perry, pull a three and rips the twine. And they call a long two on that one. A long two? He was just inside the arc. Long two. Lead up to 30. Score up to 30. Tulu. Prinslow calling for it. Farrell into Prinslow. He's got Perry on his back. They'll hold four seconds on the shot clock. And there's the foul as three defenders come hard into Prinslow. And that's what I've been saying to you. You know, Perry somehow gets caught on the back of big men, and they've got to make use of that. As you see it there, Prinsley just backing him down, and the help defense a little over eager, and they pick up the foul. I think the help still came within, within time. They made it difficult for Prinsley, and now some substitutions. Both ends. Canapamo back in. Farrell to the bench, and then Jamel Kennedy for Baptista. Prinsler, Preston. Canapamo, little short jumper is good. Orlando Novella, yep. Just that little bit of hesitation. Might not have put his other hand on it, but looked like a carry. Nine point game. Preston Jr. In he goes with the right hand and using his length in the paint. Steal from Mr. Fantastic. But for King, up and in. Papa Mpo announces himself out here. Melinda Novella, the pass goes astray to Kennedy, and now some momentum for the Cape Town Tigers as they force their way back. Well, they trailed the 12 at the end, trailed by 12 at the end of the first, and they are now back within five. Preston Jr. Nimamade is a scoop pass. Tulu out. Now it's Prinsloo. Nails the three. Tigers on a roll. Perry. The drive. Perry, the shot. The shorts on the front rim. Tulu, Garapamo, baseline drive, and called for the push out on his arm. That's a, the first one of the Tigers in this quarter. Garapamo, whistle for it. Now a substitution as Klochi Tulu, this is valuable contribution, sends him to the bench. Kabongo is back in. It's a two-point game. And I'm sure Kabongo is going to keep going to want to keep the momentum going that Tula created. The pass to Abyss. He tried to answer with the dunk of his own. Touched by Prinsloo. Kabongo. Quick up. It wouldn't go. Ganapamo couldn't hold the rebound. Preston fakes. Elbow jumper. Scramble for it. Mofokeng gets the bucket. 
good job to give the Tigers a second chance opportunity there from Lebohang Mufuke. They have tied it up here, going on a 12-0 run to start out this third quarter, I mean, second quarter, and the Cape Town Tigers are back in it. And there is a timeout, 5.32 left, we are tied at 29. Well, it's been back and forth and like the beginning of this game in Pumi, we said that there's very little to choose between these two teams and it sure has turned out that way. We're tied at 29 and we head into the final half of the second quarter. Perry draws the contact. And you see there the Cape Town Tigers just trying to implement a full court man, it looked like. But Perry just able to get through that a little too easily. Second team foul on the Tigers. The Mamade slipped the defense just a little. Preston taps back for Kabongo to control. Kabongo. The high screen. Prinsler puts it on the floor. Dribble, pull up. Mofo Kang is there on the follow and he gets another two. Mofo Kang doing all the dirty work and creating for himself off the rebound. Fantastic so far by Lebaang Mofo Kang. Six points off the bench. Perry feeds out to Kennedy and he's the silent assassin. He's just so efficient. They're just not doing a great job of being aware of where Kennedy is on the three-point line. Kanapamo shot was wide right. Long rebound to Preston. Prinsler. But for King. Working. He fades. That shot is forced just a little. It doesn't go his way. Yeah, it just didn't look in the rhythm of his game, Q. Talking about rhythm, the Mamare throws that one behind. One up and turnover goes. The Tigers have gotten some good minutes for Mufuking and he hits the bench for Tolu. Ringing the changes. Preston Jr. His little float is short. Big time rebound by Wana. Preston Jr. just seems to be struggling tonight. The Mamade oh, oh, man. leave the shooters open and he makes them pay. Ganapamo, quick reply and he gets three of his own. One point game. Preston Jr. found him very nicely there for the baseline jumper. Perry, double team. And some nice work on the defensive end there by the Tigers. It's good to see the Tigers really turn up the pressure on that defensive end. More changes as Lubisa Salepe checks in. Kanapamo gets a break. Kennedy. And you see instantly there that 
Lebesa Selepe's assignment is going to be Kennedy. Kennedy spins baseline. Nice pass to Perry. Pushing the back. Abyss is called for it. He does manage to stay out of foul trouble. Held in Abyss for the physical player that he is. That's only his first foul. And uh, he gets tangled up with a lot of the bigs in the paint. But he's really great at just moving and manipulating and staying and keeping himself out of foul trouble. He is an effective player for this Debeira team. And they really do rely on him. Tulu feeds Preston. Kabongo to Preston. Preston is going to catch, shoot, and hit. Wow. And Preston must be relieved to be able to get his offense going once again. Two point lead for the Cape Town Tigers. Kennedy picked up by Celepe. Kennedy will shoot. That's back iron. And, and Lubisa Selepe has taken his assignment and is really taking it seriously and is making life difficult for Kennedy on the offensive end. Well, Kennedy has been certainly stand out so far to Ferviario de Beira. Now they're just a... Referees confer, and I think they call the jump ball and then hand it to the possession arrow. So it goes to Ferviario de Beira. Too easy. Peter Prince just losing sight of his man there, and he gets an easy lane to the bucket. Preston Jr. It's Tulu. Selepe in the corner. And there is some contact. I think they call it off the basketball, off the shot, away from the shot. And it looks like it's going to go against Prince Lou. It goes against Peter Prince Lou indeed. It's the second foul, third one for the, the Tigers. And Tulu egging on his team. Tied at 37. We see that full court pressure once again from the Tigers. The screen. Ubis to Nemamade. Nemamade has Jim Kennedy in the corner, and he again is assassin like as he nails that one. They've got to, got to locate him. You know, Kabongo Lebesa by it. And continuation. They count the bucket. Nemamade try to tap it away. So you can count the bucket, it's going to be an N1. That's a fantastic read by Mike Kabongo. It was indeed. And just going back to, uh, as you see him there, just slice it through and finish at the rim. Almost worried that that was going to be a tad too strong. But goes glass. Now more, more substitutions. Juana's out, Mungawambe back in. Kabongo. And this game is turning out to be exactly what we expected. A tightly contested affair. One more to the Tigers total. Now we enter the final bit of this first half. Perry. And the referees were calling that yesterday. They consistently call it again. Tulu will pick up on the reach in. Yeah, he just got caught by Perry there. As you see him, he reached in. Tulu. The Mamade. Perry. Floater. Shorted. The rebound battle won by Alton Ubis. Inside out goes Numamade. Perry, time, space, and this time no connection for Will Perry. Kabongo right ahead to Selepe, who's out to Preston. 
Kabongo. Nice pass to Tulu. And if you cut into space, Mike Kabongo will find you. Absolutely. He does a great job of finding his teammates, especially on those backdoor baseline cuts. As you see Tulu there, and Perry just a step behind him. Both teams have got four apiece in terms of the foul count. That's empty trip for Tulu. Up on Ferviario de Bera now. Tigers put some pressure in the Mamare. Tries the three ball. Preston Skies high. Controls. Kabongo. Back out to Preston in transition. Will pull the three and hit. Captain Fantastic getting going from the three point line. And that causes a timeout. Tabera want to talk it over. As we see there in transition, Kabongo just finding Preston Jr. on the outside for that three point shot. With 36 seconds left, we have a timeout, three point game. Of the Preston make it's Ferviario de Beira basketball. Nemamade. Will Perry. Tulu upon him. The switch comes. Tulu back. Nemamade. Kabongo. Tight and they force. The shot clock violation. Beautiful defensive possession from the Tigers. They did not start out playing defense like that at the beginning of this one. Coach Luis Lopez is just uh, looking on. Substitution of the ball quickly for Moisture by Preston. His 12 points has been controlled. It's five of seven from the field, three of five from the inside. Perfect two of two from three point land to lead the scoring for the Cape Town Tigers. Baseline, jumper, score for Selepe, Lebisa Selepe. Another new addition to this Tigers team, Lebisa Selepe is putting in his contribution. Pull up or pull out. And that's the point as Selepe nails the three. Five seconds left. And his first score for this Tigers franchise Gives them a six point lead as uh, we head into the half. What fascinating basketball it's been. Division East qualification. It is a stake and a spot at stake, rather, in the fight, well, in the Basketball Africa League and the finals. We'll be back for second half action. Keep it locked here.
halftime here at Wembley, where it is Division East qualification for the Basketball Africa League in 2022. And semi-final number two, Ferroviario de Beira and the Cape Town Tigers locked in battle in 46 place 40. And Pumi Ramazoka, it was quite a fascinating first half. Man, what a fascinating first half. You've got to credit, though, the coaching staff from the Cape Town Tigers. What they did to switch up that perimeter defense and put Kabongo along with Larissa Selepe and Etlano Lotulu made all the difference towards the end of that quarter in slowing down Debeira. Well, that being said, Jamal Michael Kennedy, Michelle Kennedy is having an amazing game because 17 points, he's 6 of 7 shooting from the field, 4 of 5 from 3-point land. And I can go back to his season stats. He's just a high-efficiency guy, and right now he's leading his team from the front. On the other end of the scale, Perry has only got two points. Nimamade has 13 for Ferroviario de Beira. On the side of the Cape Town Tigers, it's Preston Jr. with his 12. Tulu has seven. Mofo King has six off the bench. And Evans Ganapamo has three fouls, but also has seven points. So if the Cape Town Tigers are going to keep this momentum rolling, Peter Prince has got to come to the party. He's got to be more offensive-minded. He's got to get more points on the board. He only has four shot attempts in the 16 minutes that he's been on the floor. And, you know, this could be a, a, an, a, an adjustment to what he's seeing from Vereviario de Beira. They're not allowing him to play freely. So the extra pass, he has tried to force a couple of shots. But, uh, you know, the Tigers have adjusted well as a team. Vereviario de Beira, uh, they continue to just try and patiently penetrate, kick out, and then search for gaps in the defense. And it's been their strategy throughout the entire tournament. I don't see them changing that up much as we head into this second half. Well, 20 minutes now before we have our second place decided in the Basketball Africa League from Division East and also our second finalist, Guerrero de Vera, basketball. How and the Tigers Q are in a box and one on Perry Levisa Celepede who you saw play defense against Kennedy um, at the end of that first half is now has the responsibility of guarding Perry. Interesting move. Pass in, Ubiz. I don't know how he got in between the two trees, but he sure did and two points for him. He found a way. Preston puts the ball on the floor. He'll float off the glass and he makes it look easy. Mr. Fantastic. Quick reply for Preston and the Tigers. Kennedy. Kabongo almost wrestles it away, but Ubis will fire the shot. The big rebound by Juana. Ubis is there on the follow, and they get third chance opportunities right there. And the intentional foul is called on Ubis as Kabongo was on the floor. Ubis very, very upset by that call. But really, Q, the first foul they probably should have been called. As you see, Kabongo go to the floor, but just before that, they seem to be a push on Peter Prinsloo. Well, the referee's always pick up what they want and it's their lens and uh, there's no way that you can change the call so it might have been sold a little bit by by Michael Bongo so he goes to the ground and you won't hear any complaints from the Tigers coaching staff you might hear some on the side of the Beira well Obis certainly not happy after that one Kabongo at the free throw line guess one <laughs> he has some fake hands from the imaginary players that he sees out there He's clearly relaxed, this is Mike Kabongo. He has great energy, Q, and you know, that sense of calm and that sense of relaxation, like you're saying, has really translated to the rest of this Tiger squad. Back at six. Kabongo. Shot clock winds down. Come on, go! Man, oh, way oh, down, down. He shot that one from the south of Johannesburg. 
lead up to nine. Preston puts a body on Juana, who just floats that in. That's a nice move. Nice, strong move, just putting his body on Preston. Prince look, looks at his options. Kabongo fakes, steps, loses it. Selepe will pick up the loose ball. That one goes wide left. More contact. There are a lot of bodies. The There's a lot of physicality happening. Perry drives in, kicks. One on the dribble penetration. Doesn't go. And nice job there by Peter Prince to just come across and alter that shot. Even better job on the rebound as there seems to be. And you see there Peter Prince who just putting his hand straight up, changing that shot, and Selepe, as he tries to get the rebound, getting fouled. You got the Prince, I saw the Selepe moment of all of that, but what it has equated to is another foul call, and just a waiting a second while the moisture on the floor gets cleaned up. Still six point game. Nine point game. Preston loses that. You know, we're talking about the turnovers. Perry! The oh, Perry! I got, I got into the, the conversation though, which you were saying, talking about the penetrations. Yeah, so we talked about the turnovers from the Tigers, and you know, Preston Jr. had six last night. So overall, they've got to do a better job, and he himself has got to do a better job. Prince feeds to Selepe, drives, fakes, elbow jumper, back iron. Back to four. Juana calls for the screen. The pass to Namamade. He is assassin-like as well. Snipes one from the three-point line. What a game this is shaping out to be. The Bearer have come out firing in the second half. Ganapamo, the shoot. And there's a foul called as the contact happens. One has got something to say about it. But it's going to be three shots to Evans Ganapamo. <laughs> Substitutions as. Uh, Lebisa Selepe subs out, Ben Myberg in. You hope that with that sub cue that Myberg can really keep up that defensive intensity that Selepe has been putting on Perry in the Why second half. So frustrated. What a time now for the signee from Central African Republic, Evans Ganapamo. to test this steal at the free throw line. As one more, spent some time at the New Orleans Privateers in college, and uh, also some time out at Paris Basketball. He was a teammate of Ben Uzo. He is of very good basketball pedigree. Two of three, Ganapamo. Perry, Kennedy, it's read by Mr. Fantastic, who drives, pass to Ganapamo, out he goes to Kabongo, he'll try another three, short on that one. Juana, straight at Prince, who did a great job of staying in front of the, the offensive player. Yeah, Kabongo. Very nice defense there from Peter Prince, Lou. Kabongo's not going to be happy with that call from the referee. And you don't want to see that, you know, you, you like that the Tigers are picking up the momentum, but you don't like that they're having back-to-back -back empty trips on the offensive end. It's, we're going to go back to this repetition where we talked about how there's very little to choose between these two teams. And I think it's going to be one scoring run that's going to break the back of either one. But right now, Tigers with three-point lead. Myberg, call for the block. 
Perry goes to ground hard. Perry has had a tough time of it from the field. He's two of eight, 25%. Scored five points. They've primarily relied on him, Amade and Kennedy. And they've done well because 16 and 17 points apiece. Yeah, without Perry scoring, those two have done well to keep the bear in this game. Some defensive pressure forces the travel by Numa Made. So it's a Cape Town Tigers basketball. Technical foul called on that as well. Numa Made upset. And you, you could kind of feel that coming, Pumi, the, from both ends. The players starting to lash out at the officials and it's a if it wasn't going to be Beira, it was certainly going to be the Tigers and this is Nima Mare, who's the unfortunate recipient, wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, there's, you know, with the physicality of this game and how tight it is, these guys are just getting a little bit frustrated and it's starting to turn towards the referees. Timeout called, 5.37 left, three-point game, Cape Town Tigers 52, uh, 55, for Viario de Beira, 52. Uh, just before the timeout, it was technical foul called on the Mamade. Kabongo, a step up, shoots the free throw, makes it. Worryingly, I think, for Ferroviario de Bera, that was the Mamade's third. Yeah, they, they need him to stay on the floor. You know, he's been so efficient for them that they really down their chances of getting out with this one. Preston trapped in the corner, tries to find the cutting principle. Myberg loses it. Perry. Kennedy fakes, drives in. Perry will shoot over Myberg and hit the three. Big, big shot. Under duress. Point Great game. shot from Perry there and he brings it within one once again Gabongo Preston holds it up Gabongo keeps looking for the foul on that contact he definitely tried to sell the foul there Perry looks like he's feeling it Kennedy came in and couldn't put it back in on the second chance, Preston, jab step drive. Kabongo, the Prince Lou, he'll try the long three over the, well, misses everything rather, hits the backboard hard. Tough shooting night for Peter Prince Lou. He hasn't managed to get it going yet. Hasn't found his rhythm at all. Novella, Kennedy will try. Myberg rebounds, Kabongo, is all alone and he'll put it in with the lift nine points for mike kabongo here it's getting tense q this is semi-final basketball perry shoots hits again big time shot by william perry and he's come alive in the third William Perry not to be denied with back-to-back -back threes. Kabongo. Preston turns and staying on the ground. Baptista will get called. And you see Preston, they're putting it on the floor, turning and 
just going to the rim, but he won't get that two. They'll call it on the ground. It is the fifth Ferroviario foul. So, Preston Jr. to the free throw line. This, this is the one part of his stats that may be not so impressive. He's shooting it at just about 58%. 59 if you round it up. Hits that one. Concentrates and hits the second commentator's blessing, Pumi Ramatsoka. Absolutely. You called him out and he replied. Mofa King is in. Myberg went to the bench. Kennedy kicks out. Travel. And Melinda Novella caught the two minds and it showed because Pete out of place to miss the travel. And the other sub we've seen from the Tigers is the Tlonola Tullers back in this game for Kabungo. Tulu. Finds Prince Lu. Ganapamo is calling for it. He steps into the jumper and nails one. Evans Ganapamo. Draining it from deep. Big time shot. Kennedy. Perry. 11 points now for William Perry. Crosses over, steps in. The pass to Kennedy. Nice extra pass. Novella shot. Just a tad long, a big time rebound. Mr. Fantastic. Tulu. Drives in. And just couldn't keep it alive. There was a touch on it, try to be fancy with it. It's fortunate that the Cape Town Tigers keep that position. Very fortunate to not have turned that one over. Prince Lu. Ganapamo. Tulu, five seconds on that shot clock. He drives base, pulls up on the baseline. Tough shot. Was a good looking shot from Tulu. Just unfortunate to knock her in. Perry now. Pull up again. That was, I felt like that was a heat check on Perry's side and that didn't go. Yeah, it looked like he was just checking if he's still hot. He's done some fantastic work. Three of nine. Stop it shy. And Prince most of that has come in the second half. Mofa King keeps it alive for the Tigers. Has some great defensive work again. Prince Lu. Tulu. Back to Prince Lu. Prince Lu fires. And this time, Kennedy will get called for the foul. That was a tough, tough shot from Peter Prinsloo. Trying to make that one, as you see it there, over the outstretched arms of Kennedy. See Prinsloo practice that little step back jumper. Kennedy comes into his cylinder and the referees call it. First foul on Jamal Kennedy. Peter Prinsloo is averaging 13.8 points per game for this team. And that and is only his fourth for tonight. Been quite reserved on the offensive end. Perfect trip. And so now they go smaller to the Cape Town Tigers, Kabongo, Tulu. And Mufu King. On the floor, Perry. Round the pick. Kennedy has time and space. He'll fire that one. No good. Kabongo. Looks like the Tigers went into a zone defense there. 
Uh, what well, looks like a 2 3. Pull back by Preston. Long. Ermelindo Novella. William Perry. Looking at his options. Round the pick from way downtown, short. Lebohang Mufukeng is lucky for Perry not to make that. He cannot go under that screen. Ganapamo drives base. There was definite contact there, and he couldn't manipulate it in, but does draw the foul. And the foul there going against Mungagamba. You can see Evans there just trying off that baseline drive. It is Mungawambe who picks up that foul. And so uh, Evans gonna palm out to the free throw line. He does shoot at 85.7%, but he doesn't go there too often every game. Commentator's curse. Q. Stats are not a curse, Pumi. Stats <laughs> are not a curse. I mean, if you're gonna call them out when he's at the line, they are. Ganapamo gets the second. Lead up to eight. Two second differential between shot and game clock. Looks like the bear are gonna hold. Perry, cross to Kennedy. Kennedy to Novella. In he goes, extra pass out. The shot goes up as the shot clock expires. And they allow the shot clock to expire, but there is just about half a second left. 0.4. Not much time to do anything with it, but let's see what the Tigers can come up with. So just a, a call by the table. You see Tula there messing around and he makes that half court shot. Well, I think they just have to confirm how much time left on the clock. So table officials and the referees just going to take some time here. They was visually about a second difference between the shot and the game clock. I'm not sure how much more time they will add on the clock. And I'm not sure what sort of quality possession the Cape Town Tigers can get out of this inbound. In the meanwhile, you just have a, a look at Mike Kabongo will throw up the long range shot and it wasn't a quality shot, but it is going to bring the quarter to an end. And Evans got a pummel with 13 points. Mike Kabongo 11. Billy Preston Jr. 16 for the Cape Town Tigers. On the other end is Jamel Kennedy 17. As Ferroviario de Bero 58. Cape Town Tigers 66. And we are at the end of three.
10 minutes away from deciding who will be the second team to pick up a spot in the Basketball Africa League and also who the second finalist will be to join Cobra Sport out of South Sudan. Cape Town Tigers, eight point lead. Tulu, to Prince Lu, still looking for it. But for King, left hand layup trickles out. Unlucky of Mufu King not to let that one fall. And neither of these teams want to be fighting for a place tomorrow. They both want to have a place secured already when they go to bed tonight. Juana on the baseline. Ubis. Numamade is wide open. Can't get it. Juana's there on the follow. It's the wide open shot and then the giving up the second chance opportunity. But for Ferroviario de Beira, bring it back within two possessions. Kabongo can't find Prince Lu. Numamade. Easy does it. Tolo get, does a great job to catch up with him, but not much he can do with Numamade on the open floor. Continues to just be impressive, does Ishmael Numamade. This is not the start that the Tigers want coming into the fourth quarter. Tulu steps through, sees Ganapamo. Wasn't was ready for that one. There. Scramble for it. Perry, left hand, also doesn't go his way. Kabongo, the drop off to, to but for King who can't hold, oh my. Tough, tough, tough start to this fourth quarter for the Cape Town Tigers. Over King. Gonna take a breather. Back in comes Billy Preston Jr. Kennedy, nice pass. Perry off the ball rotation. That's he had something. a lot of time and a lot of space there. Just the full. Perry display of how the ball moves on Federico de Beira on that possession. Perry just couldn't knock that ball down. Pass now to Tulu. Preston. Four seconds on the shot clock. The block comes. Tulu tries to keep it alive. It's the Beira basketball and the blocking foul call on Mike Cabongo. That wasn't a great offensive position as far as Cape Town Tigers. Yeah, you know, they, they did a great job of moving the ball, but the shot clock awareness just wasn't there. And Tulu didn't find himself with enough time to get up a good shot when the ball was his in hands. Four point game. Still poised on a knife edge. Kennedy. Why not? Shot wide. Both teams searching for that crucial bucket, the one that will break the camel's back or the straw that breaks the camel's back. Tulu turns and gets called for the offensive foul. A little bit of jockeying and selling and Numa Made draws the foul out of Tulu. And that will be Tulu's third foul. You know, we've seen in the last couple of possessions, the Tigers just being disjointed on the offensive end. Perry hands off to Juana. Hands off to Kennedy. Kennedy spins in great space. And it's a miss as Preston Jr. with another rebound. That's his seventh. He has been very good on the boards today. Prince Lou has eight, Preston Jr. has seven, but you can add another turnover to his column, turnover number five. The turnovers Six. really letting this Tigers team down. They have 18 in the game. 
right around the, the average for the tournament. Perry drives in and he gets one to go. His great work, use of the body to get that layup. Over Princely too. Kabongo will try the three. Second time we've seen him take it from deep, deep downtown. 14 by Kabongo points. Ubis rattles out. Does get it back though. Perry. And it seems we have an issue and it looks like it's a clock issue. It's a clock issue. I don't think they got the reset on the miss. The referee, they're just signaling to the table to put eight seconds on the shot clock. So eight seconds it is on the shot clock. Perry. Floats out one up. And there's Preston Jr. Again on the boards and Ubis frustrated. But there's not much you can do with the 6'11 guy in front of you. There's only so much body positioning that can help you manipulate and try and steal a rebound. And that is foul number three on Ubis. Yeah, Preston Jr. You know, doing a great job for the Tigers to make sure that Debera don't get second chances. While late in the game, here comes Harrington for his first minutes. Preston, nice pass. Prunslow tried to draw the foul from Wana. Credit him for the good defensive work. Namamade hits another. He is killing them from out there. Fantastic shot. Making sure Debera stay in this one and keep it close in the final five minutes. Kabongo. Harrington. Pass into Ganapamo, who'll turn and shoot and hit. Looks like Preston's gone to the ground. Not quite sure what happened there, but the medical team rushing over to assist. Also not sure. He looks to be reaching for his knee. And you can see the concern from the coaching staff. And uh, we'll see if we can just pick up what happens. And looked like clash of knees as he came in for the offensive rebound. He went to ground immediately. And then those can be very painful because you don't know what that means entirely. And he can barely walk. And this is not a good sign for Billy Preston Jr. And it is unfortunate for the Tigers to have Billy Preston Jr. have to check out of this game with an injury. Well, the training staff will have to have a look. In the meanwhile, Kabisa Selepe checks in. And he has the responsibility of guarding Perry once again. Four point game. Nemamade. Kennedy kicks out. Nemamade open. Nails the three again. Big time shot. Kabungo just a little late closing out on that one. And Nomamare, just a little bit too much time and space. He is putting in the work. Prinslo, Selepe is open from the three. It rattles in and out. 24 Ishmael Nomamare points. Another open three. One a shot, back iron. Ganapamo is blocked. 
Kennedy with a good defensive work. Now Kennedy to Perry. Will catch, shoot. Kennedy keeps alive. So quick they are to reset the possession. Perry drives by. Exploder won't go. And there's Obesh on the follow. Now Ferroviario with the one point lead. It's the first time we've seen Favera lead since the second quarter. Hangton kicks out. Kabongo will try the three. It's short. Long rebound, though. Perry controls for Ferroviario. Kennedy, who one has open. Prinslow blocks. Obish is there to score on the follow. Captain Peter Prinsloo extremely frustrated with that putback. Extremely big bucket. Kabongo, Harrington. Kabongo drives. Obish on him. Finds the cutting gun of Pomo. Will slam home. Great find by Kabongo there. And a great cut by Evans Ganapama. Point game. Leading scorer, 24 points, Namamade. Ubis. His little hook shot, well contested by Prinslo. Now it's Kabongo. Ganapamo in space. Travel. Just rushed it. Substitution now as Harrington heads out. Preston Jr. looks like he's recovered. Looks Back to in. be laboring a little bit, but let's see how that knee holds out. Conversation there between referees and coaching staff. Very few fouls between these two teams as one team foul for Ferroviario, two on the Tigers. And Q, that's gonna be problems for the team that needs to foul to stop the clock. Perry. Hands off to Kennedy. Back out, Perry. Hits the three again. Big, big time shot. Ferroviario executing here down the stretch. And a big play indeed by Kennedy to extend this lead. Selepe drives baseline. And his pass goes out on the baseline. Four point game. It is the final 90 seconds, 89 seconds left here. Namamade drives in, hands off to Ubis, and no contact, call, cool. just out of bounds. And time is winding down in this one. The Tigers have got to try and get a stop. Perry to inbound, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Perry. Will pull up another long range three. Kabongo quickly up the floor. Mofo King back to Kabongo. Kristen Jr. driving in. Exploder no good. Kanapamo is there. Can't score on the rebound. Pritzler falling to the ground. Makes the bucket and they call the intentional. We're gonna see if they give them the continuation. So it looks like an intentional. That should get the continuation. They but let's see the what buckets. the call says from the referees. Oh, a little bit anticipated. That the referees there conferring. I saw the motion. I will just. Uh, basket doesn't count. The referee calls no basket, and the Tigers cannot believe it. It is still an intentional foul, and still 
a chance here. And that is the fifth foul on Rubise. That might be the biggest moment of the game so far. Rubise forced to go to the bench. He can't take part in the final 56 seconds of this game. Prince Lou with two big free throws ahead of him. They can tie up if they make both and score on the possession they gained on the out of bounds. A lot here riding on the shoulders of Captain Peter Princely. Five points so far. And so I think maybe the conversation is just around the, the foul count. And just confirming with coach Luis Lopez. And I don't know if this slowing down of the game is gonna be good or bad for Peter Princely. Either it's gonna give him some calm or it's gonna increase the anxiety as he goes into the free throws. Well, I guess we'll find out. Two big free throws coming now. Prince Lu and the Tigers makes the first. Gets the second. Two point game. Tigers possession. Nerves of steel. Peter Prince Lu to make those two. Very important free throws. Time out called. We have 56 seconds left. Ferroviario 77, Cape Town Tigers 75. Sideline out of bounds. Still plenty to unfold as far as the story of this game is concerned. 56 seconds remain. Possession. Kabongo, Preston, back out to Kabongo. In he goes. Kanapambo is open. Can't make it. Preston is there to try and tip in. The basketball stays with the Tigers. Got the wide open look. Canapamo's shots wouldn't go. Neither would those second chance opportunities. Canapamo around the screen. Preston Jr. Hands to Cabongo. Preston Jr. will catch, shoot. Can't make it. Seven seconds between shot and game clock. Dabera. 
Nimamade will control. An important defensive possession for the Tigers here. Kennedy is open. He runs away. Doesn't go. Rebound out long. Now it is Tigers ball. Mofo King drives in. Makes the pass out to Prinsler. To Kanapamo. Doesn't get it off in time. And it is Ferroviario de Beira who pick up the win. It is heartbreak for the Cape Town Tigers. Ferroviario de Beira advance to the final. And a big, big win. They also secure a spot in the Basketball Africa League and ensure that they represent Mozambique, the club, and the country. And so it's a bit of heartbreak for the Cape Town Tigers. Absolutely. But you know what, Q? They live to fight another day tomorrow. They take on new stars to try and secure their spot in the Basketball Africa League.
Portugal. We call Portugal. Coach, tell me, you know, what your initial strategy was and, and how you had to change that as the game developed. Uh, I changed it 40 minutes. In 40 minutes, and we are, I think that we are a team. Uh, we have mentality. Ah, sorry, in Portuguese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no sé si español, portugués, inglés. Okay. We change mentality in the, uh, the half time because we had a bad moment in the second uh, 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 quarter, but that is basketball. Uh, they want to win. And then, uh, that's it. The, the, we try to do the, our best every day. Uh, this is our philosophy. Just trying to do the best in rebound, in fast breaking, often, and we did it. Tell me now how you approach going into the final because you've secured your qualification spot, but uh, what does the final mean? Repeat. The, the final, so you've, you've qualified, but how do you uh, go approach the final? I don't know, I need to rest. <laughs> I, need, I need to rest. Uh, we respect the competition. We are going to compete tomorrow. So I was just going to say congratulations, well done, and, and best of luck in the finals and the BNL. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we are going to be there, and this is a dream for us. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Talk me through some of the, the toughest moments in the game. I'm sure there were moments when you looked up at the scoreboard and you thought, okay, this can go either way. What, what was going through your mind at that time? I think in the moments when we were a little bit uh, disconcentrated, we tried to unite more the team, to play for the collective, and to be able to achieve our objective. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy because the team here do da África do Sul estava bem constituída, estava bem montada e bem equipada também para poder alcançar o GP. Está, está de parabéns à a, 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 a equipa sul-africana e a nossa também por ter feito um bom jogo. A sorte esteve do nosso lado e penso que é nossa vez de podermos participar. Penso que a equipa uh, sul-africana tem, tem que fazer um procurar fazer um bom jogo porque também tem uma equipa para poder ir para, para a próxima competição que é a Bala. Making it to the final and qualifying for the BAL, what does that mean to you as captain and, and for your team? Penso que é, 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 é algo importante para mim, pessoalmente, é, para a minha carreira. É, é um sonho participar nessa competição que nós tanto queremos como atleta. Essa, essa competição foi, foi organizada há pouco tempo e nós, vamos, nós procuramos de qualquer jeito podermos participar. E eu como capitão pessoalmente sinto como um sonho realizado também na minha carreira de basquetebolista. Obrigado. 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 Muito obrigado. <risos> okay. out the games just out executing their opponents but now Kabongo up to Preston oh. Billy Preston Jr. throws it down stolen Kennedy quick hands Nimamade in transition two more Tulu drives nice pass to Campbell beautiful back to Tulu fakes goes to the layup and scores Kennedy shoots and hits. Man, he said it, you point line. He doesn't take too many of those, but he does take them at a high percentage. Some tempo. And that was a bit. Some defense now. Tulu. Pull up. Jumper. 
nails one by the Tigers. Obis to work against Mutembu. Over the shot blocker's hand. Field. Mukuteng looked like he was in trouble there, but managed. Mufukeng in, looking for Gabriel. There's uh, the drive in by Warner. Right there, blocked is Zandamela. Blocked again. And a good defensive possession. Tulu is open. He'll try the three and connects. Perry. Pull the three and rips the twine. They'll hold four seconds on the shot clock. And there's the foul as three defenders. Preston. Got a come up. Little short jumper is good. Preston Jr. In he goes with the right hand and using his leg. Steal from Mr. Fantastic. But for King, up and in. Is a scoop pass. Tulu out. Now it's Prince Lua. Nails the three. Puts it on the floor. Dribble, pull up. But for King is there on the follow and he gets another two. Perry feeds out to Kennedy and he's the silent. Preston Jr. just seems to be struggling say, say. tonight. Can you please Give tell Sese to come get the mic? Gonna pop him. Tell Sese. And he gets three of his own. Go. To Preston. Preston is gonna catch, shoot, and hit. <laughs> it goes to Ferriario de Vera. Too easy. Peter Prince. The Mamade. That's Jim Kennedy in the corner. And he again. They've got to, got to locate him. You know, Kabongo Levisa by it. And continuation. Kabongo. Nice pass to Tulu. And nice high controls. Kabongo. Back out to Preston in transition. Will pull the three and hit. Baseline, jumper, score for Selepe, Lebisa Selepe. Shot clock winds down. Kabongo! Man, wait! Kicks. One on the dribble penetration. Doesn't go. And nice job there by Peter Princess. You know, we talked about out. the turnovers. Perry! Oh, Perry! Calls for the screen. The pass to... The Mamade, he is assassin like Race. Drives in. Perry will shoot over Myberg and hit the three. Semi final basketball. Perry shoots, hits again. Big. Ganapamo is calling for it. He steps into the jumper and nails one. Evans. Prinslu. Prinslu fires. And this time, Kennedy... He cannot go under that screen. Ganapamo drives base. There was definite contact there, and he couldn't manipulate it in, but... Perry... Drives in, and he gets one to go. His... Kabongo will try the three! For the good defensive work. Namamade hits another. Pass into Ganapamo, who will turn and shoot and hit. Kicks out. Nemamade open. Nails the three again. Big time shot. Go drives. Obis on him. Finds the cutting Ganapamo. Will slam home. Hands off to Kennedy. Back out. Perry. Hits the three again. Exploder, no good. Ganapamo is there. Can't score on the rebound. Pritzler 